Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm a beach volleyball Olympian and world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We are on episode 14, season one of Q. Last episode wasn't like super exciting, but it just finished off the game between Nakoma and Karasuno. Um, Okay, they started slowing down the set for Hinata a little bit so that he can have more control and be an equal player. Um, and then, you know, they did the zoomy one sometimes and the floaty one sometimes. Um, the game was super, super close, but at the end, Nakoma's defense was just so strong. And my guy Kenma had the best dig, putting it over in the deep corner to finish it. I loved how aggressive Karasuno was being and how they just kept going and kept fighting and kept being aggressive, even though they weren't as experienced or technically sound as, as Nakoma was. But I think that was a great start and it's only gonna go up from here. But um, Nakoma is a really strong opponent. And like I said, their defensive game is amazing. Also fell in love a little bit more with Kuro, but we can maybe talk about that later. So, um, I mean, you guys already know my top three, like beautiful Haikyuu guys are Waikawa, Asahi, and Kuro. And then my like favorite, like they're in my heart guys, Daichi, Suga, Kenma's growing on me. I don't know enough about him yet, but I'm kind of obsessed. Um, Noya, such a cutie. Um, basically everybody. So I'm so excited for episode 14. I have no idea what's going to happen. Going back to work, doing some training as we saw in the spoiler at the end of episode 13. But I'm so glad you're here and that we get to watch episode 14 together and it's coming right now. All right, let's do this episode 14. Mixture of balls, Mikasa and Molten. Love to see it. Chokes on these guys, they don't even know what's about to hit them. Don't underestimate Karasuno, these crows are flying. He's talking about Hinata, right? Right? I don't know. No, nobody played volleyball with Hinata. I'm confused. That seems intense. Okay, so am I understanding this correctly? They're in the Miyagi prefecture and there's 60 teams just there. 
how big is this like geography? And how many like prefectures are there? I know you guys know the answers. You better hit me up in the comments now. Okay, it doesn't have to be now. You know what I mean. So that is a lot of high school volleyball teams. One out of 60, single elimination. This is big time pressure. Although I'm liking Karasuno's chances against this first um, round team because they seem a little overconfident. Wow, he not getting blown up by the ball again. But he's still enthusiastic, which I love to see. You love to see it. Yes, he would. He would totally say that. Shira Torizawa has got the king ace. That guy looks like Tanaka too. Date Kogyo. That's the team. This is intense and I'm obsessed. Tenma? Oikawa. I don't even... Oh, Oikawa wasn't really playing, but he is a setter, right? お前ら今なんか失礼なこと考えてねえか。とまこの辺が俺的今年の四強だ。と言ってみたものの、俺ばっか見てると足をすくわれることになる。大会に出てくる以上、負けに来るチームなんかいねえ。全員勝ちに来
I am so ready for this tournament. I have no idea what's happening. I just found out that Miyagi has 60 teams. So this is all brand new. I am like, the game is on. Like, I want them to just take down everybody. Am I too excited? Am I too confident in their, their abilities? Maybe, but I believe in them and I love them. And seeing those familiar faces from the other teams that I do like and some that I don't like, I'm ready. That is a big bracket. Tokonami. Totally agree with that. You need to just focus one day at a time, even if that just means like one practice at a time. And the practices right now are to prepare for, to for Tokonami. I probably said that wrong. Um, so exciting that two of the four top teams are in their half of the bracket. That will be such a good test, but Ukai has it down exactly. One match at a time, just focus on the game that's ahead and then it'll roll. Is this Daichi's backstory? Oh, yes! Oh. Oh. Love ya. <laughs> That choose my guy. I love him. Yes. Yes. A little hint of Daichi's former life. Take down the former teammate. You love to see it. Mishimiya totally has a crush on him. Just my opinion. Look at baby Daichi. Ah, yeah. 
Oh my gosh, that little relationship is so cute. They're probably just friends, but I want to dream bigger. Um, Misha Mia, such a cutie. Um, little Daichi, look at him spitting some wisdom. Not only Suga has those words. Oh, he is so encouraging. I love his attitude. Uh, I, he will have to do something just completely outrageous for me to fall out of love with him. Um, but I love that they kind of threw in the girls volleyball. You don't hear much of that, um, except for when Hinata was practicing with them. Not that team, his other team. So that was a cute little interaction there. Doing the old double press. Let's see what he gets this time. Is it milk? Orange juice? I hope it was orange juice. <laughs> Noya is so intense. I love that he's escorting him to the gym to make sure he goes to practice. Yes! That is the attitude we need from Asahi. I don't know why I'm about to cry, but I am. I really, really liked that sequence. It was like kind of small, but just to see how every single player is approaching this upcoming Inter High tournament, like mentally. Um, Suga, like I literally almost started crying because he is so thoughtful and so self-aware and like making that sheet for everybody. Oh, I got a little misty eyed and just like, Kageyama at his vending machine and Daichi talking to the girls captain and just even Ukai and how he's thinking about like strategizing like each little piece of how everybody's dealing with it is so cool to see. And then there's Tanaka in his undies. Dude's got some abs though. Dang. Is he talking about Kyoko, who is not even his girlfriend? No. He's too much. <laughs> Is he talking about Kyoko? He has to be. Oh, 
通り飛び込めはいお疲れしたあうう<笑>うかいくんお疲れですねいい最近は毎日部活のスタート時間から来てもらってますけどお仕事の方は大丈夫ですかああ俺今まで店専門だったけど最近は早朝に畑もやってるからその分店は夕方までにしてもらってんだうんまあ実家だからってわがままばっか言ってらんないけどあ,ありがとうございます今度お酒でも持っていきますマジでそれにしても Oh my I love the commitment from everybody これ全部使うんですか場合によるあいつらには目の前の戦いに集中してもらわなくちゃ困るでも俺たちまで目の前の試合にいっぱいいっぱいになるわけにはいかないからなメタコネクションおまごし、カギヤマは、そう、インテンス、ウィアリーニューだ、パリスは、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、Yes, there are so many attacking patterns that a team can run because basically, no matter what you do, you're trying to distract the blockers, the defense, and you're trying to isolate one of your hitters to be one on one.、Um, if a hitter is one on one, that is a very advantageous position to be in. It's when there's two blockers or even three blockers that they have to move the ball around a little bit more. Um, so, there are so many patterns a team can run. I love that they brought up the, what they called here the back attack, but it's、um, called a back row attack. Personally, my favorite attack. I honestly think that I'm better at hitting back row than front row. I love it. I hope they go into more detail about it, and if they don't, I will bring it up at some point later. But、um, I just thought it was Kageyama was super cute. <laughs> They love the pork buns. I hope he's not a douchebag. No! No. Do you know where my head is going right now? Are Kyoko and Yamaguchi kind of like a thing? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just processing this. I. No. Tanaka's a little strange, but he is obsessed with Kyoko. And, but how convenient that they're both doing something at the same time when nobody else on the team is. No, this can't be true. <sighs> ジャンプフローターサーブ教えてもらえませんかああそういやこの前の試合の時やった I could not have been more wrong けどインターハイ予選ってもうすぐでしょ
Did they set me up for that? Please tell me that somebody else jumped to the same conclusion when they first saw this because I'm feeling a little bit um, embarrassed right now. I jumped hard into that pool. Um, okay, sorry, but this is really great. <laughs> I'm not mad at him anymore. Complete 180. Oh, okay, wow. Dang. He did look a little bit sad at practice. Oh my gosh. I wonder if Suki knows. That is all I needed to see. I am sorry, I keep pausing this. That is all I needed to see. Everybody has their own way of dealing with pressure and expectations and nerves and everything. And I'm so glad that they left Tsukushima's like process until the end. Just like being by himself with his headphones on and just like visualizing and looking at his uniform. That was so perfect. He nodded, just shaking in the back. <laughs> I think I held my breath that whole time. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting from this episode so far, but there have been some very powerful moments. And even that is seeing like how everybody's preparing and what the sacrifices are. Like, oh, I, like I said, I held my breath the entire sequence. Oh, my God. 
Oh my gosh, no, that sign, oh, that reaction, I'm about to burst. That, oh, that sign was so cool. It is so perfect. Oh, like I am so ready for them to be ready, you know? Like, I feel like I'm on the team and I'm about to enter this tournament. Like, that is the kind of, like, feeling I have in my stomach and in my heart. Like, this has been so inspirational. I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm having, like, a heart attack. <laughs> of course, of course. They're going to be the best friends of all time. <laughs> How did they tie? I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I know I said this once before, but I was did not have super high expectations for that episode, but I loved it. I mean, it, okay, it's not on the level of episode nine, like with Asahi and Suga and Noya, but I had so many powerful emotions during that game or during that game <laughs> during that episode i was like almost in tears a couple times my heart was like super squeezy if you know what i mean you know what i mean if you don't that's about the best descriptor i can say i was just feeling so much intensity and power and emotion from everything going on. Maybe because like I've been there and I know what it's like to enter like do or die moments when it was like in college during the NCAA tournament or like the Olympics or you name it. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys could relate to just like of all of those feelings that all of the individual players were going for, the supporters in Ukai and all the sacrifices and time he's spending, um, and Takeda and Kyoko and everybody, like it really touched on every single person and how they are dealing with and processing this like upcoming tournament. And I think they did an incredible job. Um, I am so overjoyed by that episode and 
like I said, I am so happy right now. Um, and just even the thought of meeting all of these new schools and characters, like I think this last push, this last half to the end of season one is going to be so good. Um, so I can't wait to watch it with you guys. I know I asked several questions in that episode, so please holler at me in the comments. I do always get to them eventually, even though I might not read them immediately. Um, and I would love it so much if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel so we can continue to hang out and watch Haikyuu and you can check out some other volleyball stuff because I know Haikyuu has inspired you to play volleyball so you can check out some of my other volleyball related videos but I can't wait till next time thank you so much you guys I love you and stay tuned for episode 15 bye